Just thought I'd make a quick little review here of some uh, shows and things that I've been watching. Not much came out. I guess mainly just one show. I really enjoy the new, I guess you call it a soft reboot, or um, I guess another word would be just a soft continuation of Wipeout, the TV show. Everybody's America's favorite number one voted show about wiping out on big balls. Um, I think that John Cena's relentless charisma kind of replaced the old John Henderson or whichever one it was is kind of bland negativity and frosted tips pretty well. And I think that he's just, you know, killing it, honestly, and that his the co- negativity of his co-host, he just outshines and it's like nothing can even tarnish his, you know, just sheer personality. And on another note, I guess I would say that uh, through that, I was um, observing his hand sketch with Trevor Moore because there was an episode of Wipeout where he was uh, making a dorky parody where he was wearing a wig that I thought was kind of amusing. And um, apparently, from my perspective, maybe it was some other point, but from what I can tell, the first time they met each other was in this skit where... uh, on YouTube, it looks like from way back, you know, I looked it up. Uh, John Cena's, like, got a hand double, but it's uh, Trevor Moore, the comedian. And he's, like, you know, operating a cell phone for him and, you know, kind of making a parody of how, like, you know, badly some people act with their hands as if they're another person acting for them while they're talking uh, and how bad visually that looks. I mean, it was more awkward than anything, which is kind of surprising that that was the skit they did together. Uh, But apparently they developed a genuine, you know, enjoyment of each other's company because the, uh, you know, the skit was pretty cool. It is, it is tragic though, I guess that uh, Trevor Moore is no longer with us. I, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that's all that I guess I was thinking about and just thought I would, you know, talk about some shows that I was interested in that I'd recently been looking at. And I uh, really appreciated everything Trevor Moore did, too, of course, you know. He brought up some really good points on his show about broadcasting and basically just how it needs to not have people's opinions that aren't the actual audiences involved. And uh, that really speaks to me through my life experience and what I've had to deal with. Oh, yeah, and I just forgot. Um, I saw Ryan Reynolds in Free Guy and in Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard, I believe. And he was pretty good in both. Um, it's it's kind of ironic because both movies kind of spoke to me in different ways. Free Guy was kind of nice because, it, you know, kind of feels like a lot of people are almost cheating at video games as if you're just a regular guy in the games. And their advantages are kind of unfair just because of the fact that they're hacking in the first place. It almost feels like, you know, you don't get to really play the game. And you almost feel like Free Guy... And then, you know, Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. I've always really empathized with women that, you know, like have been going through menopause and stuff. And I understand that, you know, it must really suck to not have the choice to have children anymore, especially if you really, especially if you really want to. And uh, I don't know. I, I think that that movie kind of spoke to me in a different way as well. But m- more just kind of entertained me than anything else. I don't think... The actors who made it wanted it to be taken that seriously. Yeah, overall, I'm, uh, I guess I'm very thankful to Ryan Reynolds for producing such entertaining movies. Even if uh, he did say himself that uh, in a trailer that f- apparently the movie was delayed from last year to this one. So that's unfortunate, but, uh, well, what can you do? One thing that I did think was pretty funny is how every single Bollywood uh, is assume Indian celebrity. I don't follow their culture much, so I don't know who everybody is. But it's like they uh, somehow think that they're not beautiful baby boys that are beautiful in every single way or something. And that, like, they haven't watched Arthur, you know, on PBS. And that, like, they think that their skin color is ugly or something because they're kind of whitewashing themselves worse than Michael Jackson tripping in a white paint factory. Other than that, uh, I guess that's all I really have to say. (laughs) See you around.